Welcome to another Tableau tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at creating year-over-year -year comparison line charts. Now there's two ways that we're going to look at. One is fairly easy, one's a little more involved. We're going to walk you through both of them. First one, we've got our data here, basically the order date and fees. Bring the order date up to columns, bring it down, and just want to spend a second looking at this. This first section here is for general year, general quarter, month, and day. You'll see here the general month, it's just May. Down here, it's more specific. May 2015, second quarter of 2015. For this exercise, we're going to just select month. We're going to bring over fees, drop that in here. You can see our data is not quite clean, so we'll just exclude that. You'd really want to be going back and figuring out what's going on there. So now we have the number of months, let's see here. So interesting point, this value, the month, is listed as continuous, meaning it could be, the month could be 1, 1 1.2, 1 1.5, 1.7, 1 and so it's showing up as numbers. When you switch it to discrete, it turns out normal, or what you'd expect to see. So this is an interesting chart, but how do we get the year over year? Once again, we take our order date, and we're going to drop this on the color. This is going to break out different lines for each year. Right, and so there you go. You've got the colors over here. You can see here that we've only got, for 2015, we only got a partial year. And you can see 2017 only goes through September as well. There you go. Option number one. The second option is a little more involved. What we're going to need to do is we're going to have to create some parameters. So we're going to start off by a start date. This is going to be a little bit more dynamic, well it's going to be more dynamic for sure. And display format, I always like to define it. And that's the start date, we're going to just change that to 2017 for now. And then we're going to add another one. Oops, that's not what we're going to do. Let's just go down here and duplicate this. Edit. And this is going to be the ending date. And actually, we'll leave it there. And we're going to show both of these parameters. Parameter control. And we need to make sure that the start date is earlier. So now what we need to do is we're going, this is the magic here. We're going to create a field, we're going to call this which year. But what we're going to say is if the order date is greater than or less, greater than or equal to the start date and the order date is less than or equal to the end date, Then we're going to say that's the current year. Else if, here's where it gets a little tricky, date add. So now we're going to take a look at the order date and we're going to add to the year one, the number one. And if that is greater than or equal to the start date, oops, And if the date add, sorry, man, I'm so excited to be going through this with you that I keep making all sorts of mistakes. And less than the end date, I'm going to call this prior. Otherwise, we're just going to set it equal to null. So let's see here. If you haven't seen this function before, what this is doing is saying, take this field, add one year. Okay? And what that's essentially going to do is it's going to say, it's going to take the previous year order date, add one, move it forward, 
and see if it's in this time frame. And if it is, we're going to call it prior. Now what we're also going to do is we're going to use a lot of that same logic. And this is going to be the year for the graph. And we'll just call this order date. It's, giving us an, it's going to give us an error because it doesn't like the fact that we're returning an order date and a text value. So we're just going to change this to a date as well. And say OK. And then we're going to change the, OK. We're going to, we want the current year or the prior year. We're going to take the graph, put that under the columns. We want to change this. Now we're going to use a specific date, a specific month. And then we're going to move the fees to the chart, change this to a line. I know there's a lot of things going on here. I'll try and walk you through it here in just a second. And then we're going to put which year on the color. And there you can see that you've got the current year plotted and what the prior year was. The key is using that date add function and getting all the dates into one field or column. There you go. Hope you work, it works for you. Hope you enjoy it. Go ahead and subscribe. We really appreciate it. Share it with your friends. And go ahead and take a look at the other video that's being recommended. Thanks for listening.